right, so Nigel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, you're starting to become a bit of a regular at the Final Four. Um, How does it feel that you're heading to your third street? Yeah, it's such a, such a blessing, you know, to be going to three straight Final Fours. Um, man, it's just a dream come true. And, you know, like I said, very thankful and very, uh, very humble for the opportunity. And it's not just in the EuroLeague where you've obviously got to experience Final Four, also NCAA with yep. Zaya. Um, that's obviously one huge event on one side of the ocean. This is a huge event on the other. What similarities and differences do you see between the two? <coughs> it's very similar. Honestly, it's very similar where, you know, you have in college and university, you have all the fan support and from that state or from that university. And, you know, you have the four different, you know, schools and just like the Final Four, you know, four different fan bases from probably four different parts of the of Europe. And so uh, very similar. Uh, one game, elimination semifinal, final. Uh, so I would say there's definitely a lot more uh, similarities and differences. And the last two years, you've upped your game when it comes to the playoffs. What what is it that you've got inside you that just makes you right to the occasion in postseason? Yeah, I think that's just uh, something that's kind of always been inside me ever since I was young. You know, the bigger the moment, uh, the better I played. You know, I always kind of thrived in, like I said, those big moments. My mind kind of just leaves and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, follow my instincts. So, um, you know, I love, you know, the postseason, obviously the Final Fours. And, uh, you know, this is what I work so hard for uh, in the off season and, and all year round. And you're, you're obviously you won last year with Real Madrid. Uh, you guys are facing Real Madrid in the semi-finals. Uh, do you think, like, is there something you can take from last year's experience with Real Madrid that into the semi-final game? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, just being, like you said, to two Final Fours already, obviously just having that experience and kind of understanding, you know, what it is and um, how it's, you know, very different. You know, the, the regular season's over, playoffs are over, and it's its own own entity. So I definitely think my experience will help, um, as well as, you know, the rest of the team's experience. Obviously, they've been in the last two as well, coach um, and the rest of the team. So um, I think we have a very experienced group and, you know, kind of know, knows what it takes to, to get it done. And will it feel a bit strange facing Real Madrid? Because you, you didn't play against them in the regular season. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of cool that uh, my first time playing against them is in the Final Four. Obviously, I would have loved to play it in the regular season, but the way it's played out, you know, to be my first game against them in the Final Four, um, I think it'll be, uh, you know, really special for me. And um, you know, I'm super excited uh, for that challenge. And what would you say that uh, some, like, what makes a successful team? Because obviously, you, you keep going to the Final Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think first it starts with sacrifice. You know, uh, you can't get to the Final Four if guys are, you know, have different agendas or kind of only worried about themselves. Like, you got to put the team before yourselves. And I think, uh, you know, especially here, they've built a great culture. Coach has done a great job bringing in um, guys that are all about the team. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing, you know, in this profession with, you know, with contracts and, uh, you know, guys, you know, when there's, there's money involved and people are on their own, you know, career paths, it's kind of hard to get that, that buy-in. Um, so coach has done, like I said, a great job building that culture here. And um, I think sacrifice is the number one ingredient um, to, you know, have a championship level team. And a couple of years ago, uh, you got to taste the final four for the first time, but it lasted 52 seconds. <laughs> Um, did you, you, does that experience uh, still motivate you today? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, that was, you know, extremely tough being so excited to play in my first Final Four. And then, like you said, to get hurt the first possession um, and then to lose by one point in the final. And obviously, you know, having that feeling that if I would have played, you know, who knows what, you know, could have been different um, and to potentially have already went back to back. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I think about it, but again, it's just um, all part of my journey and still was grateful for that experience, you know, just like I was for last year. So um, I still think about it for sure. But, um, you know, like I said, just just one one part of the journey. And I don't know if you know this, but you could become the fourth player in your league, modern year in history. So, become a champion with two different teams in back to back years. Hmm. So uh, you got Dejan Badaruga, Saras, Jessic, Kevin Swiss, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ramona Seskauskas. So do you think we'll be adding Nigel Williams Goss? Man, I, I hope so. You know, my uh, my entire career since I started playing this game has been built on, on winning. You know, I've always just uh, 
played to win and I've uh, you know been very fortunate to be on you know some some very good teams and have won a lot in my career so uh, I definitely think you know the winning DNA is inside me and uh, you know I would love to be you know added to that to that list with those great players. Um, obviously you're heading into your um, third straight final four when you think back about how you were heading into the first one do you feel like a lot wiser now like you know <laughs> you know what to expect and you know what yeah to for sure for sure like I said um, you know those the last two years experience has definitely helped me um, for this year um, including you know playing in the playoffs so uh, every year I think the experience will always you know help you for the next year um, and like you said just understanding you know what that atmosphere is like what that stage is like um, and so yeah so I'm definitely uh, like I said know exactly what to expect and um, but that's why I'm so excited because it's such a such an awesome event and such a pr privilege to play in so um, you know honestly I'm just, just as, as excited as ever Thanks, appreciate it easy enough nice.